object diagram case study. So, let us discuss one case study where this object diagram will be discussed into details and here we are considering the order management system. So, consider the case study of order management system considering diagram is an instance of the system at a particular time of purchase. So, it has the following objects, how many objects we have defined, we have defined this respective objects. So, here we are having this customer, there is a one of the class name under which we will be defining our object. There is another class that is our order under which we will be defining some set of objects and special order and the normal order. So, all of them are nothing but the class names under which we will be defining one or more than one objects in the object diagram. So, now the customer object is C is associated with the three orders. So, that is O1, O2 and O3. These ordered objects are associated with the special order and the normal order objects. So, they are nothing but S1, S2 and N1. So, N1 is obviously from the object name. It is quite obvious that it is the object under this normal order. S1, S2 are the objects under this special order classes and this C is the object name under the customer and O1, O2 and O3 are the three objects under the class order there. The customer has the following three orders with different numbers that is 12, 32 and 40 for the, of the particular time considered that is when the instances have got captured. So, you know that systems will be having dynamic values. So, at different instant of time, different attributes will have different values. So, what about the values we have considered here, we have captured here is the values which are existing, which were existing at a certain instant of time. So, here we are having this respective object diagram. You can find that customer is having the object name as C and there is our order, there is a class name having got objects O1, O2 and O3, the respective numbers are there. So, these properties are holding this respective numbers and here we are having the special order class object that is S1 and S2 and normal order class object that is N1 and here we are having this respective numbers with containing some special number. So, that is the special order number we are con containing this one. There is a normal order number, the number is containing the respective the order number. So, in this way the object diagram has been depicted for one order management system. So, whenever such object diagrams are to be drawn, we should consider one of the instances of the application runtime and then depending upon that particular instant whatever we have selected, what are the required objects will be there in the memory and what are the different values in the respective attributes, they will be depicted in this object diagram. Thanks for watching this video.